Well, he is one of the most notable civil rights leaders who has ever lived. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for equality for African Americans at a time when segregation was the law of the land. Well, he was assassinated in 1968, but his memory continues on through his work and his children. Our friend Clairvaux sat down for a one-on-one -on -one candid conversation with his daughter, Bernice King. It's a memory of her father, Bernice King, will never forget. Sitting at the dining room table, uh, right before we would say the grace, there were these long stem onions, green onions, and they had a bulb on the end, and he would pick them up and start chewing on them like a celery stick. She was just five years old when her dad, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., was assassinated. Fast forward years later, and now she's the CEO of the King Center in Atlanta. The center focuses on her dad's legacy and how his work has transformed the world through nonviolent demonstrations. Does it surprise you that your father is often dubbed a pioneer of the civil rights movement? No, not at all, because he was the one who gave uh, the, the blueprint and the philosophy to the movement and the ideology that everybody rallied around. King continues to walk in her father's footsteps, fighting and speaking out on issues tied to civil rights. Two issues were in South Carolina, the recent clearing of the Friendship Nine, and a ruling that said George Stinney wasn't given a fair trial when he was executed back in the 1940s. Um, you have instances like the Friendship Nine where the sentences were, were vacated. Um, I think it just means that we still have an incredible amount of work to do with our justice system to make sure people do get uh, uh, fair trials. Still on South Carolina, the Confederate flag has been flying in the State House grounds for quite some time. There have been calls for it to be removed. Some people say it's a sense of pride. Others say it's um, a symbol of hatred. As a civil rights leader with so many issues surrounding the flag, do you believe it still should be flying at the State House? Um, I would say, you know, even though it continues to fly, uh, it, sh it should never become a hindrance to, to continuing to make progress. But then on the other hand, if you truly have moved beyond, then what is the purpose of continuing to perpetuate it? The hashtag Black Lives Matter became a social media movement after the deaths of African Americans like Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, and Jordan Davis. King says this movement shows progress. It is uh, making people more sensitive to the fact that we still have some serious uh, issues of injustice and um, um, disparities in our society uh, as it relates to um, black African Americans. King says we've come a long way fighting for civil rights, but the chapter in this book isn't done yet. When you look at the black race holistically, um, there are too many of our people that are still in poverty, too many people who are still unemployed, underemployed. Um, you know, they're, they're still the, the, the broken, dysfunctional families in our community, still um, grave inequalities in our educational system. So what's next for Bernice King? To really reestablish the King Center as a, as a, as a global force. Uh, for peace uh, and healing and reconciliation through Nonviolence 365. In Atlanta, Friendly Clairvaux, Watch Fox News.